this continues its present trajectory, uh, the Federal Reserve estimates of 47 million Americans will be out of work. Is it possible to stay calm in disaster? No, it isn't. By the very nature of a disaster, the proper response is the opposite of calm. When disaster strikes, we panic. When disaster strikes, we worry. When disaster strikes, we fear. When disaster strikes, we crumble. Disaster is experienced in variety. I'm sorry, there's nothing more we can do. I hate to do this, but we have to let you go. Breaking news, the stock market fell to an all-time low today. These are not calming moments. These are stress-inducing moments. These are moments for worry. These are the moments our anxiety was made for. Unless they are sent from a loving dad. The sovereign goodness of God is the bedrock of peaceful calm in the throes of disaster. He does all that he wills when there is nothing more they can do. He will hold you fast when they have to let you go. He raises to newness of life in all-time lows. God's heart for his kids is to only do them good. It was the son who did all the father sent him to do so this could be our reality. He took our sin so we could take his righteousness. Jesus took the Father's frown so we could experience his smile. Christ absorbed his wrath so we could know his blessing. He received his justice so we could receive mercy. By his death, death died. So be self-reliant independent, the king of your castle, the master of your destiny. And when disaster strikes, your appropriate response will be panic, worry, fear, and shattered dreams. But turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face, and the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. Is it possible to stay calm in disaster? No. But united with Jesus, we never have to experience disaster. Christians go through the same things as everyone else. But we simply understand the sovereign goodness of God desires and will bring good out of all of our life's circumstances.